Anytime a student is assigned to write a paper using a creative prompt of their choice, it can be a little intimidating. Immediately, the brain starts racing with questions such as, what does my teacher want? What if the topic is too broad or too specific? Now, this is something that everyone goes through, but it's especially difficult for those who struggle to write creatively. The best way to choose a topic that you can be proud of is to follow these five steps that I've been using for over a decade that have helped me publish two books and finish my degree in creative writing. First step is to find your voice. Everyone has a writing voice. It may be witty and sarcastic, casual, professional, boastful, or reserved, but you do have one. Usually your voice is developed over time and not something that you're aware of as you're writing. If the stress of planning your paper is making you second guess your voice, go back and read through a few of your past written assignments with a focus on not what you said, but how you said it. When you find a common theme in the voice, write it down and have that on hand as you're writing your new piece. Second step is going to be play to your strengths. You always need to put your best foot forward when writing a creative piece. While it's always good to develop new strengths in your writing, in an official setting such as an essay prompt, you want to use the strengths you've already developed to show off what you can do. These strengths could be including explicit setting or scenery details, having fantastic dialogue or banter between characters, or having an intelligently crafted plot with a satisfying ending. Know what you can do well and use that. Third step is to outline profusely. No piece of writing is complete without an outline. Now, while not all writing requires a deep outline, when you're struggling to know what to write, it's to your benefit to construct an incredibly detailed outline before diving into the first draft. Doing this will help you manage stress and will result in a more organized final product. Fourth step is edit vigorously. No matter how good the topic of what you write turns out to be, consistent poor spelling, grammar, and punctuation will drastically damage the final draft. In addition to these small mistakes, you could have plot holes, or if you're not careful, entire sections missing from the paper. After every draft, you and someone that you trust, whether it be a friend or a family member, should read it and mark every error or inconsistency. Fifth step is going to be to write what you know. Writing is difficult, for sure. For those who struggle creatively, coming up with intricate plots and creative essay prompts can be a tall task. The best advice that I can give you is to write what you know. Dig deep into yourself. What have you done in the past that's interesting? Write about it and, you know, maybe even embellish a few details to make it creative. What do you envision for your future? What are your passions? Write about these. In every circumstance, taking time to think about what you care about and write about that will produce a better product than writing about something you don't know anything about. So these are my five steps on how to write a paper on a self-chosen topic. I'm not saying that writing is going to be easy, but if you follow these steps, I guarantee it will turn out a lot better than if you don't.